Hmm. You're back. More than I expected. Did Adam reveal something to you? I drank from the spring and was led to this statue. But was it supposed to be by a... creepy woman? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? It was... otherworldly. The woman, she was like a living shadow cloaked in mist. Adam above, you really did see her. The mother of the fog. The mother is a messenger from Adam. Acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. You mind if I ask you some questions first? If you must. So what exactly happened to me at the spring? Seems Adam granted you a vision. Only those deemed worthy of joining the children have them and live. But for some rare souls, he sends more. A messenger. Or in your case, the mother. So, was the mother real? Most people believe she's some sort of spirit, a creature of the wilds. Though a few claim she's just an old hermit. Regardless, our family wouldn't be here without her. If she figured in your vision, well, there are few signs clear you're meant to be one of us. Are you willing to tell me what was happening between you and those two children when I showed up? Our family is built on trust. Many people on this island would kill us without thought. Those two needed to prove they could be trusted. One did. What can you tell me about the children's beliefs? Our belief is in Holy Adam, who struck this world two centuries ago, wreathing it in his glow. That glow is the children's way out of this place. To division. What's division? Release. Release of your potential. Of all the worlds locked away inside you, broken apart and reborn a thousand times over through the glow. Island's the perfect place for it. Thanks to the fog, the nucleus. Glow everywhere. With patience, we'll all find division in this place. That was all the questions I had. You're ready to take your place among Adam's children, then? Sure. I'm willing to learn. Good. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. Have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this. We are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, sister. Believe the Confessor is wrapping up his sermon. You should head inside. doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scoff us behind their defenses. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them to life. No longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. 
We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot. And with them, we will wipe Bar Harbor from the island. Adamsville will roll down its streets. Holy Hog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Atom! Glory to Atom! Ah, I heard whispers of a new comrade. Welcome, sister. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's Chosen? Adam's Chosen? This place, the Nucleus, the island, Adam has claimed it all for us. He's chosen all but one blasted corner. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what's clearly his domain. What would you do with such a place? Is Far Harbor really that bad? Yes, sister. They are. For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light, Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you require? Would you mind answering a couple questions for me? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What happened to the Confessor before you? Martin. No one knows. One night he was sleeping in his chambers in the vessel, and the next morning he'd simply vanished. The other zealots and I organized a party to try and find him, to no avail. I wouldn't be shocked if he took up in Far Harbor or fled to the south. His dedication to Adam had become questionable. He'd done nothing when Far Harbor executed one of our missionaries. So I dare say it's best that he fled. You said something about a robot hiding his memories in this place. What did you mean? We have not always been the sole keepers of the Nucleus. Long before we arrived, an ancient robot was master of this place. Dima. He dwelled in the base's command center depositing a hundred years of knowledge into its banks. We arrived and for many years shared this sanctuary. Over time, he came to realize this place was meant for us. When he finally left to found a refuge of his own, it was as trusted friends, brethren. His sole condition, we must never access his memories. And we kept that bargain until he betrayed us by gifting those accursed condensers to Far Harbor. And I know that the key to their destruction is hidden inside those memories. We've tried for some time now to secure them, but without success. But we will have what is in those memories, whatever the cost. Now, more questions? What happened to this missionary? A foul atrocity. Our good brother Andrews had decided to brave the fog and attempt to bring Adam's light to that ghastly town and remind the heathens of their trespasses. From what I hear, he'd barely spoken a word before they cut him down in cold blood for nothing more than his devotion. Beasts. 
There's so much radiation on the island. How come people here don't get sick? Some do. But most of our family has been blessed at birth with an affinity for the glow. It's no more to us than a May rain. Warm. Comforting. It's why a place like this island truly is meant for his children. Others simply wither away while we gladly await division. What can you tell me about division? Adam's greatest gift. Locked inside us all are billions of invisible worlds, waiting only to be touched by his glow in order to be born anew through division. During the Great War, it was granted to many, though they certainly didn't realize it. But today, it is often a slow process, taking years of exposure in order to be realized. We are all here to spend our lives seeking the promise of division, however long it may take. Now, did you have another question? I heard the children are responsible for the fog. Is that... True? Of course. The fog predates our arrival on the island, certainly. But before us, it was but an occasional presence. Yet through our faith, our devotion to family, Adam saw fit to reach across the land, claiming for us more, year after year, until near all lay beneath his grasp. Now, was there something else I could answer for you? How is it you came to this place? We were guided here many years ago, after our exile from Far Harbor. The first of us, my predecessor, Martin and I, had come north at the behest of Adam's great prophet, Confessor Cromwell, from a small refuge in the capital wastes. When we arrived on the island, we found a few souls receptive to Adam's message. Anna, the Archivist, was formerly Far Harbor's doctor before she found the light. But most, they thought us a menace. We were chased from the town, driven into the wilds, barely escaped with our lives. Some of us were never the same. It was only thanks to the grace of Atom that we survived, and finally found a place that we could call home. Didn't have anything else for the moment. Adam, keep you. 